Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude, and thanks for checking out the channel. WSJTX just recently released an update. It's version 2.3.0, and after I installed the update from version 2.2.2, a few things have, we'll call it broke. Uh, but I think these will be easy fixes, and I wanted to show you guys how I'm fixing everything. Uh, just in case you're having an issue, you might be able to solve your issue as well. So in this quick video, let's just go ahead and show you what's happening here. Here's WSJTX, and like I said, I just installed version 2.3.0. Now when I open up WSJTX, whereas before everything worked, I start to get these pop-ups right away. The first one is an error scanning the IDIF log invalid ID ADIF log file. <laughs> and we can fix that in just a few minutes. That's actually an error I had way before this update but we'll still fix that in just a moment. The other error I get and the most important error I get is a rig control error. And that's weird because I had this all working right before I updated WSJTX. And it's funny because obviously it's doing something because I could see that I'm getting some kind of activity. Uh, let's just click okay here real quick. And the first thing that pops up is the settings box. And as you could see already, I see the problem the rig got set to adat.china, adat200a. Well, this is a Yaesu FTDX10, so I'm gonna go down here, and I would normally select the FTDX101, but it looks like they added support for the FTDX10. And when I click on that, you can see all these settings are still the same, the baud rate, the data bits, the stop bits, and so on. Um, and they didn't change, so that's good. All I had to do was select Yaesu FTDX10, and now I'm gonna hit test cat. A green button's always good. Now we're gonna test the PTT. And it looks like that's all functional. So far, so good, right? Let's go ahead and click okay here. And we still have this error to address. Well, there's two solutions as per page five of the user manual. Page five specifies that you could either install OpenSSL or you could download a CSV file from Logbook of the World. I'm gonna link that CSV file below I'll go ahead and download it and then do exactly what I'm going to do. And then we'll address that after this one. So I went ahead and I downloaded this file, this uh, logbook of the world user activity.csv file. It went into my download folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to click on open log directory. When I click on open log directory, I get a window that looks uh, just like this here. This is my WSJTEX directory, if you will. And this file that I downloaded, LOTW user activity, just needs to be dragged and dropped into this folder. Now, when I go ahead and I exit out of WSJTX and I reopen it, I should only get one error, and that's that IDIF header error. Invalid. ADIF header. And then I'm going to click OK here. And I'm going to click File and again, Open Log Directory. When I open the log directory, again, I'm going to get this folder here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the WSJTX log. I'm using a text editor called Sublime Text, but you might even just use Notepad. And it's going to look something like this a lot of data, right? The only thing you need to change in here is where it says EH. And in the middle of EH right up here on the top, very top of the page, add an O in the middle. So it says EOH. If you go then to click the X button, it'll say, do you want to save the changes? Click save. Now, if we go ahead and we exit out of WSJTX and we reopen it, we should have no errors whatsoever. That's it. It was uh, that simple to fix the couple of problems or issues you might run into with WSJTX, especially with this update. Should you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I do do my best to reply to them. However, you might expect a little bit of a delay, as I am one person. Thanks a lot again. I'm Ham Radio Dude 73